We got a lot of stuff to pack. So we've made it to the final week where it's time to hit the road and travel long term through driving straight trucks with the Highfield Trucking Fleet. So making sure that we have everything that we need packed and taking care of those last minute tasks are crucial. But there's one question that I have not yet been able to solve. How are we going to get there? Should we rent a pickup truck or an SUV from a place like Enterprise or Alamo or Hertz and drive it up to Ohio? But we can only go one way because we can't bring it back. That might be a good idea. I decided to call our favorite car rental place whenever we're over the road to see if this was an option. Thank you for calling Enterprise rent a car. Calls are monitored. Okay, so my question is, um, I, I'm interested in picking up a car in Alabama and dropping it off in uh, Ohio. Do you have those options available, one-way rentals? Shoot, actually, it doesn't look like we have anything in this area at all. Oh, shoot, I wish I could have found something, but I'll let you try some other companies. Thanks for thinking of us. Okay. Well, if that's not a good idea, what about booking a one-way flight uh, to Ohio? Get the truck drive the truck back down to Alabama and then load all of our stuff inside the truck that way. Highfield actually offers assistance when it comes to picking up your truck. That's up to $200 of travel expenses, reimbursed, and even if you've ran into any financial hardships and need additional assistance, they're even willing to help you with that too. But in our case, we would just take advantage of the $200. So two plane tickets, that's a little over $500. Then if we needed to drive back to Alabama to load our personal stuff inside the truck, we would actually have to then pay $500 or $2 per mile. Let's keep it real. That's diesel that needs to be paid for, straight driving, no work, and they still have overhead to pay. So this just seems like the most tedious and expensive option and probably need to be our last resort. Well, whenever I run into situations like this where all of my ideas seem to hit a brick wall and even brainstorming with Carla's not working out. What about if we take the truck and then just leave it at Sierra House? I don't know. I don't know about that. I take a step back, I relax, and I wait for a download. That's it. I got the perfect idea. morning everyone welcome to another vlog on the Nick and Carla channel we are up getting ready to hit the gym we've actually switched our workout days to three days a week uh, we try to bring it to a more realistic number hopefully something that we'll be able to maintain even while we're on the road but anyways in the previous vlog we took you all through the process of us studying taking the hazmat test and yes we passed now, um, we didn't realize that we actually was going to have to go through the background check, the fingerprints, and all of that again. So that's something we're going to have to hit um, today um, because we had to set an appointment. We thought we were going to be able to do it that day, but we actually had to set an appointment, and we couldn't go into today, which is Monday. So that's the plan for today. Have a good workout. I don't know what's going to happen when we get on the truck uh, as far as working out and stuff. It always start off cute, but since we've been doing it here at the apartment, hopefully we'll be able to transfer that consistency.
We'll see. How was your workout this morning? <laughs> it was challenging. Yes, I'm going to tell you one thing. You eat you some Popeye's strawberry biscuits and fried chicken and think you're going to have peak performance in the gym the next day. It was rough. On our way to our TSA meeting, I decided to play a few pre and post trip videos to refresh our memory on this massive vehicle we are preparing to drive. None of my hoses have any abrasions, bumps or cuts in them, they're not leaking any fluids. So I don't see anything damaged. So we're gonna start with some of the more specific things. Now on this side of the engine compartment, there's really only two things I need to check on this motor. On this side, what we've got here is I should have got coffee instead of flavored water when we went through the coffee shop. All right, pick up for me. All right, hold for two beeps. All right, so that wasn't too bad. Not at all. They just had to ask a few questions, get our fingerprints. The reason we came out to Decatur, because we ran into this one guy, and he said it was a little faster for him. I don't know why we thought we were going to be able to have our hazmat before we left, but it's actually going to take up to like 30 days yeah. for them to uh, get us checked and everything. So make sure we're not terrorists or anything crazy like that. So we won't have our hazmat when we leave, but at least we got this main part done. What is up, beautiful people? Welcome to another day on the Nick and Carla channel. So we are actually getting ready to go on our walk, but I wanted to bring up a really exciting announcement. We have our first team that has reached out to us um, that has signed up under Highfield, and we are going to be sending off this Bluetooth headset for their team. So that is really awesome, babe. We got our first team. I know. Yes. This message came directly from our winning team. They said, thank you for sharing your lives with us. We watched dang near everything of yours on YouTube in marathon mode over the summer. My name is Maggie. My man and partner is Tino. We are newbies and moving to our truck in Ohio on May 19th. I am like Carla and thought life was nine to five repeat and that I'd be here in New Mexico in my mobile home park until I die. My Tino and I met and he made me remember that we can do anything we set our minds to. He got his class A almost two years ago, right before we met. I earned my class B in September, yay! Anyway, whether or not the headset is still available, I am glad I reached out to you and I am filled with so many emotions at the change our lives are about to take. Expediting is finally about to be our reality after a year and a half of watching videos and researching. He found his partner for expediting and for life. First time doing this, hashtag Highfield. Thank you for everything you share and teach. Very sincerely, Maggie and Tino. All right, well, got it shipped off. Really nice to be able to do something like that for someone. Um, shout out to Blue Tiger for hooking us up with the extra headset. At any time a company hook us up with extra stuff, we'll probably do things like this, some type of giveaway, but it, it feels really good to give. Hmm, there's been a lot of changes lately. I wonder where we're about to go. This should be interesting. Hmm. I don't know what you've been up to lately, but there better be treats involved. Or maybe even a dog park. Anything that will make this tail of mine's wag. Let's go! So I recently started bathing Nikki myself. However, when we get back on the road, I'm going to have to start taking her back to PetSmart or Petco. Now, I know she's not going to like it, but I still got to break the news to her. All right, Nikki. I feel in my heart. Uh-huh, your heart, yeah. You don't really know the reason that we actually left the house, and I'm just gonna have to let you know now. When we hit the road, I'm not gonna be able to give you the baths like I used to, so we're gonna- Loyalty, 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 tempo. No switching sides. 
I mean, good song, but you still got to get a bath. Let's go. Another uh, good reason why I'm gonna have to take Nikki, why I'm gonna have to take Nikki to get her baths from PetSmart or Petco. Unfortunately, y'all already know that's not something I really wanted to do, but um, with her shedding, when you take her to these pet coals or pet smarts, they do the firminators. Um, maybe what I'll try to do while we're on the road is read reviews to just make sure that whatever location we're going or whatever state or whatever, maybe someone has reported if they had any issues at that location and then avoid it. That's the most thing I can think of, but um right now nikki is shedding her a uh, new coat because we're going into this new season and it's bad she needs the furminator bad as most of you may know we started our trucking journey with our long locks that we decided to cut off after over 10 years of growth i recently decided to reattach those locks and carla is focusing on growing out her natural afro we are really going to have to get used to not having those easy to maintain low haircuts and prepare for the tedious process of taking care of that natural and beautiful thick hair. <laughs> What's up? We got Sierra in the building. We Is got the Riley in the building. For the people who are new to our channel, these are Carla's beautiful. What well, they call it? Kids? kids? Nah, we ain't need kids. Young adults. Y'all used to be able to say kids. And they got her uh, mother's gift. We're going to get her reaction. Aww. <laughs> and it say, try Jesus, not me. <laughs> I know. Okay. Oh, this the shirt I want to be. <laughs> yes. This the shirt I want it. And it's perfect for the time well, now. Take me while I'm in these streets. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can lie. For whatever reason, Sierra attempted twice to order Carla those soft Adidas slides from Amazon, but she kept getting those hard shower shoes. So this was a pleasant surprise so that Carla's feet will be comfortable while we're on the road. Yes, my shoes! <laughs> <laughs> Well,
What's up, beautiful people? Say hey to the camera. Ooh, look at them nails, y'all. Hey, y'all. Show them the nails. Yes. So, okay, this was the master plan. The U-Haul. I don't know why I forget U-Hauls exist, um, but I remember when my mom, they were preparing to leave. They had to use the U-Haul um, because rental cars, for whatever reason, I guess, what, since the, the pandemic? Yeah, it's like they don't have enough cars to allow a car to go to another state. Yeah. So, yeah. So, this is the master plan. The price uh, to rent this for, we're going to keep it for three days, um, is three fifty five. But, of course, with uh, Highfield reimbursing us the $200, it brings it down to $155 uh, plus the, um, the, the, the gas that we have to put in here. And um, this also has insurance and roadside assistance on there as well. So, hey, it works out. We don't have to drive all the way back to Alabama. You know, if we would have took the route of catching the plane. Yeah, you got the perfect space to put all your stuff. Yep. <laughs> and we pretty much got everything packed um, at home. We're currently here at the RV, so we can get our all of our stuff out of the RV and put that in the U-Haul. But other than that, y'all, it's going down. How you feeling? I am feeling, you know, <laughs> curious. You know. You got the bubble gush yet? No. Y'all, Carla, when she get nervous, she says she be having to feel like she got to go to the restroom. Yeah. Carla been going in and out of feeling nervous about this whole situation. Are anxious? Is that the right word? What was that noise? Um, I think it's, uh, oh, this is really about to happen. So, um, yeah, I've been like on my sewing machine. <laughs> What the sewing machine been doing for you? It just helped calm my nerves because I'm doing something that I like. Mm -hmm. So it just helped, you know, help me just be like in the moment. Okay, one would think, the ones who's watching this, you've done this before. What are you nervous about? Um, I don't know, because it's been, what, almost three years. Yeah. So it's just like, you already know what we already know. It's just like, you know... It's a, it's a mix. It's a mixture out here when you get on the road. But for the most part, I'm excited. But it's only when I think of certain areas that make me nervous. It's like certain areas I really don't like driving in. But usually things work out when Nick end up driving in those areas. What areas are you talking about? Know. Like um, NYC. <laughs> Five yeah, so it's just certain areas I don't like too tough driving. Okay, in. so what areas you looking forward to going to? I don't know if I necessarily have an area that I'm just looking forward to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, y'all, so we I knew it was a bug on me. <laughs> but anyways, um, I think the only thing that I probably would like is where is that when we went to that seafood place? San Francisco. <laughs> yeah. Carl so trying to go all the way to San Fran and get some seafood. That'll be later <laughs> on. I I think it will be later on, but that seafood is jumping. Yeah. All right, y'all. We going to get up first thing in the morning, hit the road. We headed to Columbus. Matter of fact, if y'all watching this right now, we are most likely just starting off the drive and uh, heading on out to Ohio. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's go. Mm -hmm.